Hello, my name is Chris Donovan. I'm a sales associate with Lightspeed Financial Services Group. Today we're going to take a look at some of the basic functions of our level two window on the Lightspeed Trader platform. Right off the bat, it's important to note that the yellow border or highlight on the level two window indicates that this is your active window. Here in the top left corner of the window is the stock ticker. If you'd like to take a look at a different stock, go ahead and click on the ticker already displayed and type in your desired ticker, then press enter. In the top right hand corner, you'll see the letter E. This indicates that the stock is easy to short and can be done so immediately. The 25% next to the E means that this stock is fully marginable, meaning that you can use your four to one leverage to purchase this stock as well. The top of the level two window is your level one data. It shows the last price, the volume, percentage change, high and low for the day, and opening price as well as closing price. In the gray box in the window below is a view of the order book for a particular stock. You can see orders from NASDAQ, ARCA, Amex, and so on. Now, let's say for example, you'd like to not see orders from a particular exchange. You can access the settings for the level two window by clicking on the gear in the upper right hand corner of the window. Opening the settings window brings you to the quotes tab. Here, you can type in the exchange you would like to exclude from your level two window. Be sure to click add when you're done typing. Click okay to exit the settings window. Now you can see here in the level two window that it no longer shows orders from bats. I'm quickly going to go back into settings to undo this. To open up the settings for the level two window or any window you'd like to change settings in, just click on the gear in the, in the top right corner. That brings you directly to the relevant settings. Alternatively, you can access the settings window by going to the index bar at the top of the screen, clicking on utilities, and then clicking on configuration settings. If you'd like to, to customize the order section of the level two window, open the settings again, click on the design tab. On the far right here, click on level two design fonts and colors. Here, you can rearrange the order information by column, change the color of orders from exchanges, and so on. If you'd like to make changes to the top portion of the level two window, click on the level one fonts and colors button. That will bring up a window where you can change the color of information and the fonts as well. In the layouts tab, you can select to add options for info to display on the top half of the window. There is a menu with many choices we offer on the right here. You can also choose to rearrange the information in the graph window as well. Just be certain to keep in mind that this is for the level one information. So if you'd like to change those colors, you'd have to click the level one fonts and colors button. Moving on to price levels tab, here you can customize the color and levels of quotes or specific quotes you'd like to see. You can also choose to sort them by size or price. The highlights tab is fairly straightforward Type in the name of an exchange in the box underneath where it says MM slash ECN. Click add and orders in the level two window from that exchange will now be highlighted. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.